Hey, Alicia! Do you think leaving your husband on his own to take care of your daughter is okay? What? I'm saying that you need to do something about how you're always with Angela ever since she was hospitalized. Don't be ridiculous. It's my job as a parent to support her while she's fighting this illness. You need to take care of things on your own until Angela gets better. What? Do you know who you're talking to? I'm the one supporting this family! You're just a lazy good-for-nothing that used Angela's illness as an excuse to quit her job! What? Just let the doctors take care of her illness. I'm the one paying for her medical bills anyways. You should be grateful and prioritize taking care of me! I only quit my job because I couldn't take care of Angela while working at the same time. See? You're being rebellious again! Yep, that settles it. What do you mean? I'll give you the divorce papers, so just leave already. Divorce papers? I'm going to marry Jennifer. She took care of the house while you weren't there to do so. What? Jennifer, my sister. Yep. She took care of me with her body while I was lonely. What? There's no way I could have resisted. <laughs> Putting your hands on your wife's sister is one thing. But to think that you would fall for Jennifer's tricks? Say whatever you want. It's your fault for failing to take care of me. I'll give you just enough money to not become homeless. But I'm not paying an alimony, alright? Arnold! Bye! Hi, Alicia! It's been 11 years, right? To think that you would still have feelings for me. <laughs> I guess it can't be helped. What? Arnold? You haven't contacted me ever since you divorced me from my sister, 11 years ago. What do you want? I returned to my parents' house. What? I'm trying to return, to be exact. But I saw you and what seems to be Angela entering the house. Why do you want to return after all these years? I thought it was time for me to inherit the family business, considering my dad's age. It's the perfect timing as well, since me and Jennifer just had a son. Which is why me and my son, who's going to inherit the business after me, are returning for the first time in 11 years. Uh, return? I heard that the family business already closed. What? Your father was too old to work anymore, and no one was there to inherit the business, so... But that's why I'm returning! You need at least 10 years of experience to become a professional, it seems. But because you just disappeared with my sister 11 years ago, your father had no choice but to close the business, considering his age and condition. What? But I came back! There's no point in telling that to me. Oh, I remember. I almost forgot why I contacted you in the first place. What is it? Leave my parents' house! Huh? You're not even related to me anymore! Why have you been staying at my parents' house for 11 years? Lee! I have a son now, so I don't need you and that weak daughter of yours anymore. <laughs> Jennifer, my son, and I are going to be living in that house from now on. You're not invited! Don't tell me you've already prepared to move here. Yep, I can move anytime! <laughs> That's fine. Just don't regret it, okay? Why would I? <laughs> hey! What's the meaning of this? Hmm? Why is my uncle's family living here? This is my parents' house! It's simple. It's your uncle's family's house now. What? 
Why? What about my mom and dad? They moved to the countryside after they closed the family business. They moved? And your uncle, who used to always change jobs, was finally able to settle down at a company in his hometown. He was looking for a house, so it was the perfect timing. I didn't hear anything about this! What are you talking about? Didn't you disappear with my sister 11 years ago and cut all contact with us? I'm their only child. It's not like I blocked their accounts, so they could have at least told me where they moved. It probably means that they disowned you. But I have a healthy son now, not a sick daughter like Angela. If I call them now... Your parents don't care about the gender, and Angela's fine now. What? It took one year for her to fully heal, but she's fine now. She's now a part of the volleyball team at her high school. Oh, wait. Then why were you at my parents' house? I'm pretty sure I saw you and Angela entering. When was this? I think it was during the three-day holiday last month. Oh. That must be when I visited for the sleepover we have a few times a year. Sleepover? I got a new job once Angela fully healed at your uncle's company. What? We already knew each other, and he treated me like family. I got along with his wife in particular since we shared hobbies. She let us stay at her house so we could work on a project together. That's probably where you saw me. Are you serious? Then where should I go to? I probably shouldn't be asking you this, but couldn't you have gone to my parents' house instead? What? That's impossible! Me and Jennifer just suddenly disappeared! There's no way we could just go back! But didn't you go back to your parents' house? It didn't end well, though. I only thought I could return because me and Jennifer had a son who could inherit the family business! It didn't matter, though, did it? Shut up! Jennifer said going to her parents was impossible, so... Is Jennifer with you right now? What? No. She's at a friend's house with our son. Apparently, Jennifer comes to our parents' house frequently. What? You probably know how I'm distant with my parents, who always favor Jennifer over me. But according to a friend who lives near my parents, Jennifer suddenly reappeared three years after we divorced. She's been visiting frequently ever since. These past few months, she's been visiting with what seems to be her son and husband. What? Since it's my parents, they probably welcomed her back as soon as she returned. I thought this husband was you, but apparently it wasn't? No, it wasn't! What's the meaning of this? Answer me! I only heard about this from my friend. Isn't it best if you find out on your own? It wasn't my son? Hmm? The baby Jennifer gave birth to... It wasn't my son? Oh, that's what you're talking about. Jennifer was cheating on me with another guy! She and this guy visited her parents! And she told her parents that he was her husband, and they just accepted it! She said she already submitted our divorce papers half a year ago, so they threw me out as soon as I knocked the door! But weren't you living with Jennifer even after she submitted the divorce papers? Maybe she just turned it in without telling you? No. I gave her filled out divorce papers after we had a huge fight. She probably used that. Oh. What should I do? Can I just block you now? What? I hadn't blocked you until now since you were Angela's father, even if you had divorced me. But you contact me for the first time in 11 years only to talk about this. But... 
What I'm saying is, don't contact me or Angela anymore. Uh, maybe we could go back to how things used to be? Huh? There's no way I'm doing that. Alicia! Don't contact me ever again! I finally blocked Arnold after 11 years. What happened to him after that, I only heard from others. Apparently, he did a DNA test to see if he actually wasn't related to his son, and sure enough, he wasn't. He got revenge by suing Jennifer and this other guy and forcing them to be in debt. But in turn, he was sued by multiple female employees at his workplace for sexual harassment. Not only did the money he got from Jennifer disappear because of this, but he was even forced to take out a loan. In the end, he was taken away by some shady organization. What happened after that? I honestly don't care. Hey honey, how's it going there? You and the kids settling in? Hey babe, yeah we're doing alright, just unpacking. I had no idea we had this much stuff. Yeah, well, I guess we can be kind of pack rats sometimes. I guess moving could give us a chance to start fresh. This weekend, I'll make it a priority to start throwing out some old junk, okay? And maybe you could start with all that old medical school crap I almost caught you bringing down to the basement? Some of that is very sentimental. Do you really need to sit around and stare at your beer bongs, pondering the good old days? You're in your mid-40s, Dan. Hey, 42 isn't mid-40s. I'm rounding up. Even that wouldn't be mid-40s. You're a doctor, not a mathematician. And you're a publisher, definitely no math genius. I could take offense to that, but <laughs> it's true. Well, anyway, long night ahead. I wish you didn't have to make rounds during the night shift on our first night at the new house. I know, but you know the deal. That's just part of being a doctor. That's how we could afford that nice new secluded house in the country. Well, I wouldn't say it's nice or new. I know, I know, it's a fixer-upper, but we'll get it there. We'll do it together. And when will you have the time for that? Dan, you're at the hospital all the time lately. Things have been insane here, I can't control that. I know, I know, it's part of the deal of marrying a doctor too, I guess. But there's upsides to it. Besides the money and a husband who's never around? And what are those? Well, we're very knowledgeable about the body. <laughs> oh, is that so? Mm-hmm. Okay, well then. So how are Jim and Stacy? Doing okay. Stacy's already asleep in our bed, and Jim, well, you know our Jim. He's probably in his new room examining the land's tax records on his iPad. He's a very fascinated young man. I love my son, but he can be a quite a peculiar boy. I was the same way at that age, getting fixated on weird little subjects, losing myself in them for hours. I think that's what makes me such an awesome doctor. But not so awesome bedside manner-wise. Hey, I've gotten a lot better. I know you have. I'm just pulling your stethoscope. And you've definitely helped me with that. Well, I can't take all the credit those YouTube manners lessons helped, too. Yeah, they were okay, I suppose, but God, that woman was annoying. She really was annoying. A full moon tonight. You know what that means. Werewolves? Pretty much. Might as well be. The last full moon, we had three gunshot wounds, two stabbings, and four car accidents. I've never seen anything like that. Plus, you know what day it is. No, I've lost track. Tell me. Friday the 13th, silly. Oh, no. Why'd you even tell me that? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Bad idea. Forget you ever heard it. Yeah, sure, fine. Easy for you to say. Hey, at least you're surrounded by people on Friday the 13th and a full moon. I'm a woman out in the country with two kids in a scary old house. I'm the one who should be complaining. Well, technically you're safer than I am right now. And how do you figure? Well, I'm downtown with gunshot and stabbing victims, most of them on drugs. And you're out in the boonies with no one around for country miles. That we know of. Well, just call me if you need anything, okay? I just changed into my scrubs. What color tonight? Blue. Well, to match your eyes, so handsome. Of course. Hey, don't be flirting with any of those gunshot victims, you hear? 
Yes, ma'am. Dan, are you sure we're safe out here? I wouldn't have left you alone if I didn't. Okay, thanks, honey. Good evening. Um, good evening. And how are you this fine evening? I'm swell, and can I ask who this is? Call me Black Rider. Black Rider? Black Rider, yes. And what's a Black Rider? Well, it is me. Is this a telemarketer or something? I'm not interested, okay? Nothing of the sort. I abhor such predators. Okay, well, we can both agree on that, Black Rider. So is this like a political thing? You with some campaign or something? I've never donated to any political campaign, so I don't know how you even would have gotten my number. So, like, take it off your list or whatever. Hello? Are you there? Yes. So are you with some campaign or not? No. Guess again. You know, frankly, I am too tired for this. Is this some kind of prank or something? Some friend of Jim's? Jim. Ah, yes. Your son. Yes, my son. And you have a daughter as well. Okay, who is this? Tell me right now. Stacy is her name. She's three. I'm not answering any more of your questions. They're so cute at that age, aren't they? So what can I help you with, Black Biker, or whatever your name is? Black Rider. It's Black Rider. Get it right! All right, take it easy. What does that even mean, anyway? It means whatever you want it to mean. Okay, well, I think it means a little weirdo who gets off on being creepy to women late at night, okay? How about that? Guess again. No thanks, I'm good. It means I ride in the shadows. On your big wheels? Shut up, you have no idea what you're talking about. And what should we be talking about, Mr. Ryder? I mean, you're the one who texted me. What's the topic of conversation? How about old houses? What about old houses? What do you think of old houses? I... I don't like them. And why is that? No, you tell me why you asked that. Why would you ask me such a specific question? Well, I suppose I'm wondering why you'd choose to buy an old house in the country if you didn't even like old houses. So what? Anyone could know that. You just have to look up recent real estate sales. Perhaps, or perhaps, I know a little bit more. Oh yeah? What do you know? I know that the wallpaper in the upstairs bathroom is peeling. How? How do you know that? I'll never tell. You know what? There was an open house here. Yep, I remember it. You probably just saw it then. You came to see the house and you saw it then. Perhaps. Perhaps what? You know what? This is ridiculous. Why don't you just either tell me what you want right now or I'm blocking this number? I want what was taken from me. And what did I take from you? You took my birdie. You took everything. What are you talking about? You know exactly what I'm talking about, you witch! Alright, that's enough out of you, Betty Midler. Black Rider! Whatever. I'm going to get back what's been taken, woman. I promise you. Hey, Dan, I know you're probably busy, but uh, let me know when you get this. Something really weird just happened, and, well, just text me back. Hey, Jim, are you still up? Hey, Mom. Yeah, I'm awake. I figured. What are you up to? I'm just researching the area for what native tribes used to live here. Oh, really? And have you come up with anything interesting? Well, apparently there was a large contingent of Sioux just right about 20 miles south of here. Oh, really? That's very cool. Yep, but they all got wiped out with smallpox. Oh. Oh, dear. Yep. It's really sad. I agree. So listen, Jim... You haven't gotten any, uh, seen anything unusual tonight, have you? Well, I mean, it's our first night in a new house, so I guess everything I see is kind of unusual. Right, well, I mean, more like, in a bad way. What do you mean? Have you gotten any strange texts or anything? Um, no, not unless you're counting this one. Right, funny. Well, now that you mention it, 
one thing was weird. Oh, and what was that? Well, I was online playing Battle Axe earlier, multiplayer, of course, and some weird dude entered the game. Oh yeah, what kind of weird dude? Well, he just kept coming up to me and saying, like, weird stuff. Like what, Jim? Weird stuff about old houses, house, the new old house and stuff. I don't know what he was talking about, so I just ignored him. What was his name, Jim? Um, something weird. Can you remember? I think it was Black something? Black Rider? Yeah, that was it. How, how did you know that? Because I think someone is playing some kind of strange game with us, Jim. Or some sick prank or joke or something. What are you talking about? Earlier, I was getting strange texts from someone calling themselves Black Rider. What? Are you, like, being serious right now? And he was asking me how the new house was, but he knew it was an old house, you see. That's why he was asking me about the house? He was talking about my house? It's okay, Jim. Don't be scared. I'm not. We'll get it figured out. Have you tried calling Dad? Called and texted. No answer. He must be really busy. Oh, yeah. I forgot. It's a full moon. Um, right. Well, what did he say to you? It's not important. It's that bad, huh? Will you tell me when I'm older? Just stay away from the video games for tonight and any other chit-chat things. Can you tell me next year? On second thought, just go to bed, Jim. Well, how can I sleep now after everything that's already happened? I know. I, I understand. Hey, Dan, just wondering if you got my text from earlier, so just let me know, okay? It's just that I got these weird texts from someone, and they seemed to know a lot about us. And Jim, too, on his video game. It's probably just a prank. I mean, he didn't say anything truly threatening. Not specifically, at least. Anyway, I'm sure things are crazy there, and me blowing up your phone isn't helping, so... I love you. Well, hello again. Black Rider? The one and only. But I blocked your number. Oh, you don't think you can get rid of me that easily, do you? No, I suppose not. Look it, my husband's here and he's a martial arts expert. So don't even try to intimidate me, okay? Oh, your husband. So if I were to come over right now, he would be there to stalk me? Um, yes, absolutely, and he would destroy you. Well, maybe if he was there. But he isn't there, is he? I think we both know that. Yes, he is. He's sitting right here next to me. Well, that would be very unusual, considering I watched him drive away from your house just a few hours ago. What? I watched you and little Stacy wave goodbye from the window, too. Where was Jim? In his room? Did he not want to come out and say goodbye to his father? I get it. Twelve's a tough age. I was the same way then. My son is nothing like you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm calling the police. And what are you going to tell them? That someone said they saw you waving goodbye to your husband from public property? You were stalking me. I was just passing by. Way out in the country? Just passing by, eh? That's right. Is that something you do often? Just wander around people's houses out in the country? My wife and I we used to take long bicycle rides out those ways. Oh, so you are a man after all, I figured. Yes, I am a man. And you're married. Was married. Well, from what I know of your personality so far, I can't say I'm surprised it didn't last. So she left you, huh? No, she's dead. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. That husband of yours took my birdie away from me, damn it. What are you talking about? My birdie, she was having a routine operation, hernia surgery. And your no-good, useless, murdering husband killed her. A perfectly healthy woman. She died right there on the operating table. Well, I, I'm very sorry that that happened to your wife, but, but I'm sure my husband had nothing to do with her death. He's an incredibly competent doctor. He's never had any kind of incident like that. He's never killed a patient. Well, the murderer killed my birdie, and I want retribution. 
Sir, I'm sure we can figure this out. But I need you to understand that me and my children have nothing to do with this. I promise you, this is the first time hearing about this, if true. If true, if true! Well, how could I really know? You haven't made a whole lot of sense tonight, sir. Is this true? Take a look at this! What is this? It's a copy of the lawsuit. Lawsuit? What lawsuit? Your husband doesn't tell you anything, does he? I sued him. We went to court and everything. Oh, my case got thrown out, of course, sure. But that's only because it was the little guy versus some big, powerful doctor. What are you talking about? What court? When? Last year. But I don't care what the judge says. Sometimes you just have to take matters into your own hands. What? What are you going to do? I'm going to come over and sit a while. Maybe wait for your husband to get home. I'm calling the police right now. Go ahead, call him. My brother's the sheriff out here. He loved my wife deeply. Me and my kids have nothing to do with this. Don't you see that? So you're saying you're innocence? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. Well, my birdie was innocent too. Your wife's name was Birdie? That's what I called her, yeah. Well, I'm so sorry about Birdie, Black Rider. You, you got my name right. Yes, obviously you've been through a lot. Maybe I was a little too harsh on you. Well, maybe a little bit. I can assure you, my husband didn't tell me anything about this. And when he gets home, I will be having a very long talk with him about it. Oh, okay, good. And I'll make sure you're properly compensated for your loss. Okay, then I'd, uh... I'd appreciate that. So, keep in touch, Mr... Um, could, could I perhaps have your real name? I mean, if we're going to be dealing with each other financially, I should know your name. Just call me Ralph. Ralph? Yeah. Is that your real name? Yeah, Ralph's my real name. What's with all the questions? Okay, sir. I'll get back with you. Yeah, fine. Fine. Hey, Dan! It's your wife again. You remember Lena, right? The mother of your children? The one that you told to get in touch with you if anything bad happens tonight? Well, this is what I'm doing, and you're nowhere to be found. Thanks for that. Hey, honey. Wow, I am so sorry I didn't get back with you. Things have been absolutely insane here. Uh, what's going on? Is everything okay? Well, we had a bit of a crazy night last night, too. You're telling me I could tell you what we went through last night, but it may put you off your breakfast. Will you be home soon? Yeah, in just a little bit. So what's going on? What happened? Well, some very odd character named Ralph somehow got my number and was harassing me. Ralph? Ralph who? I don't know his last name. He just called himself Ralph. Okay, and what did Ralph want? Well, first he just wanted to intimidate me, it seemed. But finally, I got it out of him. He wanted... Yes? You. Me? Why? Well, he was convinced that you had somehow accidentally killed his wife during a hernia operation. Oh, really? That's interesting. Yeah, he said he took you to court and everything. He even made up fake legal papers and sent me a picture. Uh, wow. Yeah, I mean, do you have any idea who this guy could be? Maybe someone from the past you pissed off or something? It's just all so out of the blue. It's all just so strange. Yeah, weird. So, do you have any idea who this guy could be? Or his wife, Bertie? Robin. What? Her name was Robin. That's why he calls her Bertie. Dan? I'm sorry, Lana. Dan, what's going on? I was so tired that day. Other than that, it was a totally normal day, just like any other. I just hadn't slept well. Please, just tell me what happened. My fingers just slipped. It was so strange. No one else saw it. It all happened so fast. You never told me. I couldn't. I couldn't tell anyone. And the hospital was sued? If I had told the truth, they would have lost millions, and I'd have been ruined, Lana. We would have been ruined. It was dismissed due to lack of evidence. 
importance, the coroner said natural causes. They all thought Ralph was a nut. Which he obviously is. I can't believe you never told me, Dan. This affects our entire family. Do you have any idea the kinds of things this man was saying to me last night? He was at our house. He was? When? I don't know. He claimed to have seen you leave for the hospital. Well, I don't believe it. I swear I should have my head examined staying here with the kids all night alone. I'm sorry. I'll be home soon, I promise. I just need to take care of a few more things here. You know what, Dan? Take your time. What do you mean? I mean, I think me, Jim, and Stacy are going to be spending the night at my sister's tonight. Janice, but she lives an hour away. Why? It seems like you have tough decisions to make, Dan. What do you mean? What decisions? The fact that you even have to ask is reason enough for me to choose to be away from you right now. But what does that mean, Lana? After a few days of being apart, Lana gave Dan an ultimatum. Despite how much she loved him, she couldn't be with him if he chose to live with such a lie. If he turned himself in, she would stick by him. But if he didn't, she would leave. Ultimately, he chose himself. But in the end, it wouldn't matter. Lana realized that in good conscience, she couldn't stay silent and risk the same thing happening to anyone else's loved one. She decided to turn her ex-husband in. He was arrested by federal marshals attempting to board a plane to Belarus and is now awaiting trial.